The prediction profiler in Jump is a great way to interact with complicated statistical models. With the profiler, you can interactively generate predictions from your model as you change settings of individual factors. Visualize interactions, like how the effect of one factor for your response can change at different levels of another factor. Find optimal settings for your factors based on goals you have set for your response variables. And perform what-if analysis by simulating responses based on specified distributions for both your factors and responses. If you have previously saved a model as a formula column, you can access the Prediction Profiler directly from the graph menu. Otherwise, access the Prediction Profiler from the red triangle in a model report. Using the tire tread sample data, I've used FitModel to generate a response service model for the variable hardness based on several factors. The prediction profiler is showing a cross-section of the model. The prediction of hardness is on the left, with a confidence interval based on the current settings of silica, silane, and sulfur. The curves of each factor show the relationship between the response, hardness, and each factor at the current levels of the other two factors. For example, if we look at a plot with silica, you can see that the relationship between hardness and silica have curvature when silane and sulfur are at their middle values, and that lower values of silica appear to result in more hardness. As we change the value of silica by dragging the red trace lines, the prediction of the model on the left changes. With the prediction profiler, we can also see interactions among our other factors. For example, let's see how the relationship between hardness and silica changes at different levels of silane. I'll drag silane to the low and high levels. The prediction profiler helps us see the statistical interaction. At low levels of silane, higher levels of silica are associated with more hardness. But at high levels of silane, lower levels of silica are associated with more hardness. In complicated models with interactions, it can be very difficult to manually find settings of our factors that give us an optimal response, which in this case is to achieve a hardness of exactly 67.5. The prediction profiler can find the optimal settings for us. I'll select prediction profiler from the red triangle and select optimization and desirability, then desirability functions. Desirability functions are added to the profiler which show how particular desirable levels of our factors are if we're trying to match a hardness target of 67.5. To let Jump find the optimal factor settings, I'll select the prediction profiler red triangle and select optimization and desirability, then maximize desirability. To achieve a hardness of 67.5, we can use the factor settings the prediction profiler has found for us. Finally, the prediction profiler has a rich set of tools to perform what-if analysis using Monte Carlo simulation. I'll select the prediction profiler red triangle and select simulator to turn on the simulation tools. Here I can see distributions for each of my factors if their values cannot be completely fixed. And when I select simulate, I can see the distribution of hardness we can expect. The prediction profiler in Jump is a powerful tool for understanding your models. To learn more, search prediction profiler in Jump help.